Next up is uh, Tim, who was already here yesterday, talking about some more of his projects. Hi, I'm Tim. Um, next slide. Uh, that's me. Next slide. I'm from Australia. And uh, next slide. And I have too many projects. I also have too many slides. Next slide. I need help. I really need to sleep. Next slide. Uh, if you use Python, these two things should be good for you. Next slide. Um, if you use dates, use Python date time TZ. It will make your dates correct when you're going around the world. Next slide. Um, also use Q if you're tired and you're trying to debug something in production and print won't work. It's basically print on steroids. Next slide. I don't just like doing small projects. I also like doing uh, big projects. Next slide. Uh, Tim's video is basically a bunch of projects to do conference and video recording. Um, basically, we want to do what uh, the CCC here is doing, except without having you to be as smart as them. Next slide. Um, I've trained to develop a system in a box. Um, we need your help doing that. Next slide. Um, before uh, we stream it, though, you need good content. I can't help you make better content, but I can help you make better readable content. Next slide. Uh, so I developed a tool called SlideLint that actually tests your um, slides. Next slide. Uh, it's basically got a command line interface if you want to run it locally. Next slide. It has a website interface. Next slide. And it tells you whether your text is too close to the edge of the screen, whether it's low contrast, etc. Next slide. Um, so how do you do live streaming? Next slide. Uh, this is how you do it. Uh, the things in red are the parts I'm working on. Next slide. Uh, the first thing is you need to be able to capture the presentation. And so we're developing a piece of open source hardware called HTML USB. Um, it's based around a FPGA. Next slide. Um, this is kind of where it fits in the system. Next slide. Uh, those two things there. Next slide. Um, there is two firmwares. There's an old firmware written in VHDL and Verilog. There's a new firmware written in Python. Next slide. Um, the new firmware is uh, really good. Um, uh, it's much easier to work with than the old stuff. And next slide. Um, we also have developed open hardware because it doesn't matter if your firmware is open, if your hardware isn't. Uh, next slide. Uh, so we're uh, about to try and get these available. Um, you go to get Opus um, and you can get one. Next slide. Um, it has two HDMI in inputs, two HDMI outputs, display port in, display port out, USB, gigabit Ethernet. It's great if you want to do some type of video stuff. Next slide. Um, it could also be used for other things rather than conference recording. If you're into like Milky Mist or Flickr Noise or any of those type of things, would love for you to take a look at this board and see if you can do something interesting. Next slide. Um, we also want to support more boards than just our two. Um, if you're interested, come and chat to me. Uh, next slide. Uh, but once you've got it captured, you still need to mix it so that you can have the presenter and the um, uh, like slides and the video mixed. And so I developed a hardware system called G uh, software system called GST Switch. Next slide. Um, it's this bit here. It sits on the computer up the back. Next slide. Um, it's written in C. Uh, next slide. The CC guys didn't like that it was written in C, so they rewrote it in Python. Um, we are now seeing whether we can um, use that instead. So that's Voctomix. Next slide. Um, you also need to do encoding because on the um, cloud, there's not one supported format. Um, so, and you also need a website. So next slide. This is kind of the streaming system and where it sits. Next slide. Uh, we have basically an open source one of those. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. We would really love a graphics designer to come and make it look less ugly. Um, next slide. Uh, the front end is written in Django. The back end is written in uh, Flumotion and Python. Next slide. Um, the other thing, though, is even if you have all this content there and you have an awesome event, if nobody knows about it, then nobody comes. So next slide. i am also got a tool that publishes your events to all the popular social networks, including mailing lists and Facebook and Google+. Um, that needs a lot of love. It's in a little bit of disrepair. Next slide. And that is everything. Um, so just to reiterate, uh, Tim's video, uh, slide lint to check your slides, HDMI to USB to do capture, uh, GST switch or Voctomix for mixing, 
the streaming system for like the website stuff and events everywhere to get your events everywhere. Thank you. <sighs> Perfectly on time. I have Thank too many you. projects. Don't forget your phone, please. And it was awesome. It was just on time. <laughs>